take 374. Welcome back to a new channel. Well, What is up guys? My name is Spencer Cole. Welcome back to the Supercross BMX YouTube channel. And today we are going to be talking about why you should get into BMX racing. So overall guys, today I'm going to be breaking this down into five different reasons why you should get into BMX racing. Um, I've been racing BMX since I was five years old. I am now 22 years old. I'm a professional racer. I have traveled across the whole world racing World Cups for Team USA and Supercross. And uh, this year I am staying more so on the USA circuit only, but I am enjoying the ride, loving this. Every single day I get the opportunity to ride my bike, train with my buddies, and try to become a better person, a better rider, and uh, just continue to grind and be the best I can in this sport. But overall, this video is for new, ri new racers, new riders, on why you should be into the sport, why I love it so much, and why you should feel the same about it as well. So. Let's get into it. So number one, the main reason that I do this sport and why I feel like we all do this is just the love for riding our bike. It is so cool the opportunity to travel the country, ride so many different tracks and have all the opportunities to go to all these amazing facilities. Thankfully, I have Oldsmore BMX right down the road, but even if you're in the state of Ohio, which is where I grew up, or California, Utah, there are local tracks scattered all over the US and whether you're watching this outside the country, in maybe Brazil, like Vicente, where he's from, there are local tracks everywhere that you can find a place to ride your bike, whether it's trails, a pump track, a BMX track. My Supercross BMX bike works for all different variations of riding. Um, and mainly I stick to BMX racing. I know pump track is a really big deal right now with the Vessel Revolution uh, series. I hope I pronounced that right. I haven't had an opportunity to race that yet. Um, but even if it's just trying the USABX circuit, a local race, a state race. I know here in the state of Florida, state races are huge. Um, I got to the opportunity to race a state race at Tampa Bay UX. And uh, overall guys, I mean, there are so many different ways and variations to race your bike, to ride your bike. I mean, you can start at the level from novice, intermediate to expert, and now work your way up to pro. I know I've been through all the classes, all different variations, and just the different types of tracks you get to ride. You get to ride a three meter or a five meter and one day ride an eight meter hill. There are so many different ways to enjoy riding your bike. And for me especially, I, I find my most fun having myself on the eight meter hill with my Vision F1 and just trying to ride and race different types of variations of BMX tracks. And yeah, so overall, just the love of riding my bike and enjoying it. That's the main reason I love this sport so much. So the second reason that I really think that you guys should get into BMX is all the different brands and people you can meet along the way. I know for myself, I rode for many different teams and right now I'm one of my dream teams being Supercross BMX. I get to ride for Bill Ryan and I get to work with a bunch of amazing people within the company and within the team. Um, I have a great family and group of teammates I get to um, ride with and learn from. Um, and it's really cool because I'm on the East Coast, a lot of them are on the West Coast. And uh, a lot of times throughout the year in the USA BMX Tour, we get to link up, all race together. Um, I had the opportunity last year to go up to the Supercross BMX factory. And uh, man, it was really cool seeing how everything is made, shipped out, and the behind the scenes of how they put out videos like this to you. Um, I know Bill Ryan, his son Tucker, does an incredible job. There's just a lot of perks and a lot of great things to be within this industry whether you're riding, you're racing, whether you're within the actual brands. Um, I get to ride for Fly Racing and uh, I have a close relationship with uh, Ray Hudson over there and they have all given me amazing opportunities to ride within their gear, their brand and overall I just love the opportunity to be a part of these companies and hopefully one day someone watching this video that's going to be getting into the sport can have the same opportunities I have because I just know how thankful I am to have this within my life and I don't want to be going anywhere anytime soon and it's just whether it's the brand, the people, the sport, there's so many different ways to incorporate yourself into this sport whether it's racing, riding, but overall guys just being able to put yourself out there, represent yourself well and uh, whether it's results off the track, working with the kiddos, it's just an overall great way to express yourself on your bike, off your bike, at the track and I love it so much so hopefully you guys can get into this as well. Another big thing that I love about this sport and what it has done for me has let me travel the world and travel the country. Um, I can say alone this year, there are 10 different stops on the pro circuit and about 
eight different states across the US. So I have the opportunity to travel to Texas, to Oklahoma, to California, and there's just so many different places that my bike has taken me. I know last year I got to do a really big traveling season going to Turkey. I got to go to Scotland to race the Worlds. I was in Papua the Netherlands the last two years racing the World Cup Tour. And I mean, there's challenge classes at the Worlds, and I know that the Worlds is this year in the USA at Rock Hill, South Carolina. Make sure you're cheering on the Supercross Connect squad there racing as well. I know I will be. And there's just so many different tracks and places that your bike can take you that not a lot of people know about when they get into it. I mean, you start out at the local tracks, the local races, the state races. You start building up, building wins, building opportunities, building relationships, and that gets you to go to these different tracks, different races. And I know for me, traveling is my one of my favorite parts about this. We all love riding our locals, racing the states, but there's something different about being on that national level, and especially something being about on that world level, where you get to meet up with different people from around the world, the country, and get to, you get 30 seconds, and that is everything you've worked up for, and uh, there's something special about that moment that I love being a part of, and I don't think, you know, I could see myself doing anything else. There's just something about that adrenaline rush that is so special to me. And uh, overall, guys, I think, you know, whether you're watching this, whether you've already been racing, whether you're just getting into it, there's something so special about that that I can't fully explain in words. And it's really cool and a really fun opportunity to keep going in this sport to see if you can make it to that level. And I'm very thankful for the people who have helped me get to this spot and have helped me reach this point in my career that I'm at this stage and I can keep doing this and I don't see myself doing anything anything else anytime soon. I love it so much and I hope you guys as well will love it as well. We'll love doing this. You get the you get the idea. I know one of the main reasons that I love racing BMX and doing this sport is the daily grind of it all. Being able to go to the gym, go to the the sprint spot, go to the track and to see where I can progress every week and get faster and faster. And especially for you younger ones watching, I just had a conversation with my buddy the other day about like, how do I think my training's been going just in the last week, the last month. And I know that nowadays, I'm 22 years old, each and then every individual day, I have to be a lot more specific and a lot more careful with what I do because I have to learn my body and what's going to progress me better at this age. But even when I was like 16, 17, 18, you're growing, you're getting faster, you're getting better on your bike. There is so much to enjoy about that process and that daily grind every single day. Thankfully right now I'm working with the Driven Cycling Academy with Jeff Upshaw and they've been helping me so much. He is so specific and so detailed about what we do each individual day, getting better in the gym, sprints, our bike. And I know that just you know getting my butt into shape is a big deal about going to these races because as I mentioned before, we get 30 seconds to express how hard we've been working the last month, the last year. And uh, I really want to touch on, you know, the world's coming up and how big of a deal that is for a lot of the, the U.S. riders here in this country that have been working and prepping all year, all, you know, all throughout the season to get ready for that individual race. And uh, hopefully I can have some more videos coming up soon on how to prepare for that race. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's just something about training that has been so fun for me and so enjoyable over all these years. I've had different trainers, I've done different stuff. And uh, each individual one I've worked with has different methods and different ideas on how to get you know to the best and top level in our sport. And that's been something I enjoy a lot is being able to go to the track three times a week, go to the gym two, three times a week, sprints two, three times a week, and just bettering myself every day. Because whether that's in life and BMX and school, just being on top of your stuff and making sure that you're becoming a better athlete, student, person every week, every day, it's something really important to me, and I've been working at getting better at that. I mean, we're only going to continue to get better at that, whether that is, like I said, life, school, work, whatever it is you're doing. There's just something specific about the BMX grind in itself that makes me appreciate it so much, and yeah, it keeps me on my toes, and I'm enjoying it, and I hope you guys will as well. Um, that's something definitely to look forward to when you're in this sport, and it's, uh, it's definitely something special. Lastly, something from my end that I have found that I enjoy so much about this sport and I, I say it for last guy, I, I truly do believe it's the best part about this sport is the friends and family I've made in this sport along the way. Like I said earlier, I started racing at five, 
years old. And I think some of my best friends I made within those first few years are still some of my best friends to this day. Um, I started racing BMX in Ohio and I believe some of my best friends I met there at the state races, at the Redline Cups back in the day, like stuff like that. Those friendships have carried decades now. And uh, it, it, that is something really cool and special. Um, I know that I've met, my, my parents have met some of their best friends just, you know, within me being in this sport. Um, you know, people I consider brothers, sisters, and overall, I think that is something like that is unmatched. And I mean, that can go for other sports as well, but something within riding your bike with your friends. I mean, we're out there knocking laps out weekly and it never gets old. And uh, whether, you know, my friends have been in the sport, out of the sport, whether maybe they work within the sport, that is something that I think is, you know, not even comparable to other sports because we share such a similar love for what we do in this sport. And I think something even cooler is when you're friends with your competitors because they all share the same method, the same mindset. They want to beat you on each individual race day. They want to be beating you at practice. But, you know, there's a level of maturity to that friendship to where, you know, you can encourage one another to get faster and then still want to beat their butt on race day. But at the end of the day, when you cross the finish line, it's all fist bumps and high fives and everyone's cool. And, you know, when you could build that relationship outside of the sport, being into real life and how you can carry that in is something that I think I enjoy the most about this sport. And that's why I wanted to save that for last is just the friendships and the family members I've made along the way. And even just being my second year on Supercross, a lot of the team riders I had always known about, I'd never got to, you know, carry a personal relationship with and be friends with them. And, you know, I have found a lot of my teammates to be really cool. And, you know, just only seeing them on social media or seeing them, you know, on the racetrack, everyone on this team has been really cool and really opening and super fun to be with. And uh, that's something I can appreciate about this brand within the sport is everyone on Supercross is really fun and really neat to be with and they all have really cool lives outside of the sport but on track they are you know they are really cool people and they're the badass athletes so that's something I can appreciate about this sport this team everything as a whole so I tried something a little different I went onto my Instagram story um Instagram Spencer Cole one and uh, I asked other riders you know what got them into the sport and because uh, I knew for me specifically, I knew my reasons as to why I raced BMX. You know, my dad got me into the sport because he used to race back in the day. And uh, in Ohio, I went to Dayton Indoor BMX and I tried that out myself. And uh, it was actually pretty funny as a lot of the guys I look up to now. And I'm, you know, especially Jeff Upshaw, my coach now, Dayton Indoor was the first spot I ever saw him ride. And, you know, a lot of riders like Jeremy Smith who are battling for an Olympic spot, I rode with them back in the day when I was younger too. And we're still riding nowadays. So. I wanted to go on Instagram. I wanted to see some of the comments about what got you guys into BMX and compare it to my experience. And you know, wanted to make, give, give you guys some features on the uh, YouTube. So let's see what you guys have to say. So I want to start with one. We have uh, Mason Coverman saying, my best friend had been racing for two years and I wanted to start, he was my idol. Um, so that's always something really cool where, you know, being at school, you see, you know, BMX is not the most mainstream sport. It's not your soccer, it's not your baseball, but our goal here at Supercross is trying to make the sport, you know, along those lines. So I think, you know, getting BMX into your school, into the atmosphere is a big deal to try to get more kids into it, a little more mainstream. And uh, I know a lot of people I looked up to, you know, growing up were all BMXers. You know, I, I didn't really, you know, I, I loved playing soccer, but I didn't look at my heroes as being like Messi or Ronaldo. I was looking at, you know, Randy Stumphauser, Strombergs, uh, Upshaw, guys along those lines that I really looked up to and wanted to make me a better rider. Um, another one, we have uh, Mateo 07 BMX. He said, I wanted to start motocross. My dad and I just tried, decided to try a BMX bike first and I've been in love with it since. So that's something really cool that uh, a lot of people, you know, especially me, I share a big love for motocross as well. Of course, I'm doing BMX racing, not motocross, but it's something that's similar along those lines that I think a lot of people can share a common love for and find similar interest in. So I think that's something really cool to look into. Um, we have Cam Craig, who's a local from around here. He said that he got into it watching YouTube with the Scotty Kramer video. And, um, and he actually joined the BMX league that I was coaching at the time. And uh, you know he's been racing and he's been getting better since. So again, you know Scotty Kramer, a big YouTube um, BMX athlete. 
And uh, that's something that we at BMX or Supercross BMX are trying to do is share that love of BMX on YouTube, whether it's you know Instagram reels or the YouTube shorts or just the YouTube videos, just trying to share you know clips of the sport, you know how to weekend updates, little tips and tricks, something like that, to where you know a kid on his phone, his iPad, you know goes across in a video and it's it's our sport and they want to get into it. So those are just some of the uh, things I wanted to share, guys. Thank you for you know logging into the Instagram and uh, tuning into that and giving me some responses. It was really nice to read through all of those, but uh, yeah. Overall guys, I really wanna thank you for tuning into this new video. Um, something a little different for me, trying some different stuff, trying to make it a little more interesting to watch. You know, I've been doing the weekend recaps, some training days, but this is something I really want to get across to, you know, the more common watcher, the guy who's trying to get back into BMX or maybe the kiddo that's trying BMX for the first time. So. Overall, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, check out the other videos that this channel has going, the merch and the bikes, and hopefully that you can share this video and help your friends get into BMX as well. That's the goal with this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep trying our best, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.